morning it's Christmas morning Merry Christmas to everybody out there in YouTube land I already said I was gonna do a uh, how I make my deep dish, uh, dish Christmas omelet so I almost forgot how yeah just I just remembered I got to shoot a video on this so anyways we used one one red and orange bell pepper uh, diced up some red onions and then of course uh, we chopped up uh, about uh, six mushrooms and then we got some bacon over here all cooked up and I got to chop up the bacon and then of course we got ham for the other ingredient that goes in then we have our spices Italian Greek and uh, Cajun and then of course we got some cheddar cheese all, all gr uh, grated up and ready to go this is marble cheese so next, the next step is uh, we're just going to grab some eggs, put it in the bowl. We're going to beat the snot out of it and uh, add, add a cup of milk to it. And then we're just going to start cooking it on the stove. Once this is all done being pre-cooked, I like to pre-cook, get all the water and everything out of there. And uh, then we cook some of it on the stove, on, on top of the stove, and then we just put the rest into the oven. So we'll be back once I'm done uh, beating the eggs. All right, everybody, we're back. So we've got the uh, bacon all chopped up and ready to go to be put in nice, nice sized chunks. There's about 10 pieces of bacon that I cooked up, and there's about 10 pieces of ham that's all sliced up and ready to go. And then, of course, we've got eight eggs in the bowl here, and just beating that up. We've got to beat it a little bit more, a little bit more, and then we use uh, well, about 12 ounces of uh, of uh, milk is going into it. And then, of course, we'll start adding our Italian, Greek, and uh, Cajun spices. And we're just waiting for this to, for the onions to caramelize just a little bit more. Uh, just cook this on a very low heat and simmer it. That's all we're doing. So we got, you know, bell peppers, mushrooms in here, red onion. You can put whatever, whatever you want in here. And where it's almost ready. If you want the pet you know, the pepper's nice and soft and stuff, so I've already had these out of the frying pan. Uh, just to pat some of the grease off, you see here. Alright. And uh, get this all cooked up nicely. Now I do have the oven already set and ready to go, it's already preheated up. Uh, we set that at 375 degrees uh, because we're going to shove this whole frying pan in the oven once we cook some of it up top on the stove and the rest of it gets cooked in on in, in the oven. And then when it's almost finished then we, uh, we can put cheese. You don't have to put cheese on it but I like to make a top cheese crust on mine so but you can add whatever whatever kind of cheese you want if you want cheese in it. You don't have to. You can add uh, green onion and uh, red peppers and uh, whatever other uh, green peppers, whatever other you want in your omelet, celery, you know. If you want to put some snow peas in there, go ahead. You know, or if you want to make a spinach deep dish omelet, this is why we call it deep dish because it's going to rise about the same height as this pan. All right, so we'll be back uh, once I'm done. Uh, I got to beat this a little bit more and then add the milk and then we can start pouring the egg and getting all the ingredients all mixed in the pan here. Back in a bit. Alright, we're back. So we got all the spices in here. And just give that a quick one, a little more, a little bit of beating, a little bit more. And we're done. Now we get to pour this in the pan. So look at that. That's getting to be looking good. Once we get all this poured in the pan, just this will start to rise up as it cooks along. So we just uh, get everything mixed in here, like so. Now, of course, we're just going to add our bacon all in here, start adding everything in here. In your ham. So just kind of. Shake all the ham, shake your ham all around. 
and then we'll just get it all mixed up. Just like so. Now remember, you got to leave room for this to rise, right? It will start, it, it'll rise, so. There we go. So now we just let that cook on top of the stove, so we're going to turn it down. We cook it around uh, pretty low, so we'll cook it hot too. And we'll cook that for about, uh, oh, probably 30, 20 to 30 minutes on top of here, and then we'll just stuff the, uh, the rest of it in the oven. It's so basically, I want the bottom of the, uh, of the omelet to pretty much seal, right? And then that way, when it starts to cook, everything will start coming up this way. All right, so we'll be back when it's almost time to add the cheese. And we'll be checking on it from time to time once it goes in the oven, so we'll be back. All right, we're back, and it's almost time to put it in the oven now. As you can see, we're starting to bubble all around through here so that means the bottom is pretty much almost cooked a few more minutes and then now we're going to shove her in the oven and if you want to add salt and pepper to this you can if you want so so it's looking good so far so it's starting to rise it's almost time to put it in the oven now if, when you do get big air bubbles just take a toothpick or, or knife and just poke it so you can deflate that bubble down because we don't want you don't want it lumpy you want a nice smooth top to it so every time you see a big bubble you just pop it and it, it'll deflate and then that allows all the uncooked liquid to you know get into that hole that you just deflated right that bubble that you just punctured now all that liquid is going to is all going to pour in there and start again so as you can see here, it's just bubbling all around. So, all right. So we're gonna pop and pop her in the oven right now. So make sure you put it on the center, uh, the middle rack in the oven. And then we're gonna turn it every once in a while once it's in there. All right. Let me close it up. Let it cook for about half an hour to an hour, or sometimes it might take a little bit longer. And then, uh, then we're going to add the cheese to it, and then we're going to turn the uh, top broiler on, and then we're just kind of kind of melt and brown the cheese a little bit. So, and we'll be back for that. All right, back. So I added some. Uh, I wanted some tomato on this, so I added some tomato on it. Now, now I'm going to put it back in the oven, and we're going to turn the, the pan around the other way. Now that we've got the uh, tomato added, so back in the oven we go. And don't forget to always put your oven mitts on. Now don't grab this hot pan with your bare hands. You know, you're going to know. It. We're going to put that in for a little bit longer. And then we're going to be getting ready to put the cheese on very shortly. So, like I said, you don't have to use uh, cheddar cheese. You don't have to put cheese on. Uh, you can use whatever you want if you want a topping. Or you can have a plain topping. Or use any kind of cheese, actually. So. Alright, we'll be back when it's time to uh, put the cheese on. Back in a bit.